Kiana. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Kiana. And it's your boy, Elijah. All right, guys. So, this is part one of labor and delivery, period. And y'all, sadly, sadly, he won't be there because he has to work. And I don't want to be up there by myself. Basically, so if I was to have him between, uh, what, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, he would have to leave to go home, take a nap, and go to work. And I'm pretty sure when he can get off, he won't want to take a shower and go to sleep. And I'm just be up there by myself. So I decided to just let him not come and have my cousin come with me so she could be there the whole time with me. So, yeah. I'm scared. We really truly have eight hours. <laughs> but, okay, so basically this is the plan. The plan is that um, at 5.30, I'm supposed to get up and call the hospital. Make sure they have a room for me. And if they do, I have to be there before 7 o'clock if I'm late. They said they reschedule it. And they're going to push me, push it back. Like, that's retarded. Real retarded. Like, that don't make sense. And the only thing I can eat is toast and a cup of ice. Like, what? But I'm kind of scared. But I am going to ask them um, if two people can come. Because if they can, he can still come, right? That work, right? He can still come. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be... He's going to be born before 5 o'clock. You think he'll be born before 5 o'clock? I think he will. <laughs> if I go there, if I get there at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, but this is going to break your water. And you don't know if it's going to break right in and there. Yes, it will. That's, it's going to break right in and there. Yes. Well, but you, you know you don't like pain, so you're probably going to be holding it back. Why would I hold a baby back? <laughs> like, I can't stop a baby. Too much. You probably ain't going to be wanting to push and stuff. Oh, I'm definitely him. To get the pain over with? Yeah. Ooh, wee. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that. But no, because I'm, I'm trying to get the pain over with. I'm going to be what? I ain't doing that again. <laughs> no, but yes. I think he'll be born before 5 o'clock. Because if I go in at 7, 9 times out of 10, they're going to start inducing me doing whatever they do at 8. Around 8 or 9. So they give me plenty of time for him to get here. I'm already at four. So it shouldn't take that long to get to 10, right? Okay. I feel like. But I'm going to record it. I'm going to pick up the camera and record in the morning when I wake up and call them. And we're going to go from there. It's probably going to be two parts of this because I'm going to have to sneak and record because nine times out of 10, we probably can't record. And that's gay. But oh well. But right now, we're just sitting here. I'm sleepy. You sleepy? No. We just see uh sitting here. I'm finna pack my suitcase. It's right there. And then put his stuff downstairs in a car seat by the door for in the morning time. Just fingers crossed they have a bed for us tomorrow. <laughs> You ready to be a dad? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to see you for a day and a half. Probably two days. What? You really he ain't going to care, y'all. He going to be over here playing a game every day after work. Probably ain't going to FaceTime me or nothing. What? <laughs> yeah, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. He, he, only time he'll probably answer his FaceTime call if I call him first. And matter of fact, I'm not even going to call him. I ain't going to let him know when I have the baby or nothing. I'm, I'm going to see if he's going to text me first. How about that? <laughs> but I'll get back with y'all whenever. Hit the camera. All right, guys. So, I'll let me your nose back there. Huh? Use all of your nose. Yeah, okay. Look nasty. How are y'all? So, they canceled my induction this morning. 
But I guess baby boy said he gonna come on his own. I am having cramps so bad. And um, I've been bleeding from my vagina, TMI. So I'm just gonna go in myself because these contractions are not it. Hold on, I'll be back, I'm having one right now. All right guys, so I am seven centimeters right now, and they just gave me some pain, pain medicine, so I'm dizzy. Like, oh my god, I feel so dizzy. And I decided to go ahead and get the epidural. Epidural, so yeah, guys, baby boy will be here sooner than we think. I feel so dizzy, I feel weak, but. I really wish my boyfriend could be here, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to take a quick nap until they come here to get me prepared for the epidural or not. And yeah, here's the plan. Yeah. I feel so dizzy. They got me hooked up to the IV now, so... Yeah, you guys, I see. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm having to actually have a contraction right now as we speak. But I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. All right, so what's up, you guys? It's like 11.30 at night. And baby boy made his arrival time at 3.24 this afternoon. I really couldn't record that much because they said no recording. So I did get a little some some some. Don't come and I'ma insert it. Don't come for me because my lips was shot. I do not care about no lip gloss. There he is. Good job. Hey y'all, um right, I'm tired, okay. It's actually um I'm actually breastfeeding right now and yeah i'm up here chilling and after he eat i'm up here for one night you got it hold on guys i think he needs to come up for him and try to sleep whenever he's sleeping because yeah i'm tired as y'all can see but I see you guys tomorrow. Well, this is probably gonna be the end of the video, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and turn your personal notifications on and hit that bell down below. And comment down below what you guys want us to do now that baby boy is here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Got to do, got to do with it.